Good morning. This is Sister Ann McCurdy with your GSB Church News. Happy birthday to everyone born and married in the month of September. Please join us each Sunday morning in the flesh at 9.15 for our in-person Bible Discovery Hour. Our sick and shut-in members need your prayers. Please keep them lifted. GSP has two prayer opportunities. Join us on Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. for community prayer meeting and Tuesdays through Thursdays at 8 a.m. for intercessory prayer with Pastor Sepp. Guess what? We are gaining a great YouTube following. Please go to at GSP Church Boynton to subscribe to our channel. Join us on Wednesdays in September for the Bible study series Positioned for a Purpose, a study on the book of Esther via Zoom with Pastor Sepp. If you miss it, you'll miss a great lesson. It's a family affair for our friends and family weekend. Mark your calendar for Saturday, September 16th, beginning at 12 noon for a fun-filled day. Meet your team leader and team members at the chat and shoot. Then, join in on the fun for a family feud showdown. Which family will be on top? Then, on Sunday, September 17th, invite your friends and family to worship with you. The person with the most guests will receive a prize. You can pick up invitations to hand out at the reception desk, or you can ask Pastor Sapp to text you a virtual invite to text out to your friends and family. The 133rd session of the South Conference Annual Conference is quickly approaching. If you'd like to ride with the church for the closing service on Friday, September 29th, please see me, Sister Ann McCurdy. The van will be leaving Boynton at 3 p.m. to avoid Friday's work traffic and to be on time for the 6 p.m. service. We want to remind GSP men that the men's choir will be rehearsing this Thursday at 7 p.m. Become a part of GSP's men choir and lend your voice as they minister in song. Please check the church calendar to keep up with all church events at theboyntonbeachblessing.org. morning, newly released surveillance video is revealing more of the chilling moments leading up to what authorities say was a racist rampage at a Dollar General store in Jacksonville. The sheriff here says the images show the gunman entering a different discount store down the road and leaving after making a purchase. He then stops at Edward Waters University, a historically black college, and puts on a tactical vest and mask as students alert campus security officer Antonio Bailey. To me, the students are the heroes. The shooter, 21-year-old Ryan Christopher Palmetter, quickly drives away when Lieutenant Bailey approaches his vehicle. Did you ever, in your mind, ever consider not confronting the suspect? No, I did not. This is what we signed up for. The university's president says Bailey saved lives on campus. You, sir, are nothing short of a hero, and we honor you today. Minutes later, the gunman ends up at Dollar General, where he opens fire in the parking lot, killing Angela Carr. Damn, this is so, so this is unreal. This is so unreal. <gasps> oh, God. Carr's daughter, Ashley, says her mother was an Uber driver dropping off a passenger. She leaves behind three children and 16 grandchildren. She's incredible. I, I can't put it any other way. Gerald Deshaun Gallion and 19-year-old A.J. Legare Jr. were murdered inside the store. A.J.'s two brothers, Quan and Josh. 
I never thought I had to bury my little brother, man. I was ex we were expecting him to bury us before we had to bury him. The sheriff says the gunman took his own life when law enforcement entered the store and that he had legally purchased a handgun and AR-15 style rifle he used, which was painted with swastikas. I'm struggling. Physically, I'm okay, but mentally, I'm away. I'm struggling. It's a diamond on the Moss scale to keep my faith. When you're living through a pandemic and the world's so cool, I know that God is in me. But the earth is too. I'm struggling. Seems like nothing's gonna get me through. I'm alone in this. Or so I thought. But I'm surrounded by these people and their faces scream of loneliness. We're in the dark. I'm never gonna get out of this. There's water in my esophagus. I keep fighting to get out, but I'm drowning and it's obvious. But there's a spark flickering in the distance and suffocated by the dark, ignited to a flame. A faith that burns struggles and extinguishes pain. Every day, a reminder. I am not my body. I am not my mistakes. I have the power from the greatest, and he will make me great. He's giving me a task that I know I shall surpass before I ever see the grave. I just gotta keep my... This concludes the GSP Church News for this week.